Good morning. Pastor Mike asked me to introduce. It's already starting. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough getting up here. Uh, anyway, I just introduced this video I made a few years ago. Um, when I was in Vietnam, I was stationed about 100 miles northwest of Saigon in a place called Tay Ninh, just next to the Cambodian border. A lot of heavy fighting went on there, and we lost a lot of guys. Um, we had a morgue on base, and every time a chopper would land in there, you know they were bringing back bodies that were coming back from the battlefield. And their job at the morgue was to clean up the body and bomb them, put a military dress on them with their medals, and the very last thing was drape an American flag over their casket. And that flag would travel with them all the way back to their hometown. And that's where this video will pick up is at that final resting place where um, the flag is now being properly folded, actually 13 times as a, a remembrance of the 13 original states. And every fold has a particular meaning behind it. I encourage you to go to Google and check that out. It's quite interesting. And after the flag has been properly folded, it resembles the hats that the American Revolutionary Soldiers wore under the command of General George Washington. And then the flag is presented to the family member. Since the American Revolution, there's been 1.3 million Americans that have died in the battlefields in the wars that we have fought. And this Memorial Day, we stop, we pay honor, remembrance of the sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice that 1.3 million made for the freedoms we enjoy today. Now you can watch the video. <laughs> Christ was born on cross 
Happy Memorial Day weekend to you all. What you've seen in this video is the price of freedom and what it takes to be a free people. And I hope you never forget it because it'll be our undoing. So uh, we are privileged to live in this land and to experience the glories and the benefits that we have as Americans. And it's regardless of race, color, those kinds of religious beliefs, the freedoms that have been guaranteed by the blood of our forefathers and founding members says it all. Says it all. At the end of the day, it's about what we're willing to do to defend other people's rights to live the way they choose to live under the law. And... Uh, It's hard when you think about it. I try to. I would try to talk to my father about the war. My dad fought in World War II. He was in the Philippines, and he operated a machine gun, track trailer mounted gun. And I said, "Dad, did did you see who you killed with that gun?" He said, "Dad, oh, so I'm not." No, not really. We would just fire into the jungles in areas we knew the enemy was coming and hope it hit its mark. He didn't like talking about it. Didn't like talking about it. He'd rather talk about the times in it when, you know, they had down times and would have fun and, you know, do things like that. I saw pictures of him cutting other guys, other GI's hair, you know, and stuff like that, you know, and stuff like that while he's in the Philippines. Not Never anything that had to do with the battles or anything like that. He wasn't that kind of man. But at the same time, he was there. In the middle of firefight, when, when bullets are flying and whizzing by your head and stuff, uh, you don't think about the Constitution or anything else like that. You think about survival survival it's that intense and uh the, the longer we go in peace the further away we get from understanding the cost of freedom so it's a two-edged sword so pray for our loved ones who serve in the military pray for our government that sends these men and women into battle and, 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 you know, the preparation that they make in their lives to prepare them for what they're about to face because war is becoming even more and more deadly with the development of weapons and other things, systems that we have today. Uh, it's just becoming more and more deadly. But during World War II, over 60 million people died in that war alone. 60 million when you consider the, the uh, combatants and the civilians that were killed by its destruction. That's an incredible number. And when you see the, the memorial graveyards and you see all those tombstones, you see the number of crosses on them and stuff that these people paid the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, it really is a humbling experience to consider those things. It's why it's so important that we have with us the courage to stand up for our convictions as believers today. Because our God is a loving God and he's gracious and he gives us the victory in Christ to overcome the evils of man with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, this morning, as we consider who you are and what you've done for us as a people, 
May we never take for granted the sacrifice you made all those years ago when you laid down your life for us and prepared a way for entrance into your glory where there is no killing, where there is no hostilities, wickedness, perversion, evil, but only the riches of your grace, the power of your spirit, and your amazing love flowing, flowing through us like rivers. So bless us, Lord, as we look to you now in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, we're going to be talking